Hello everybody and welcome back. Well, actually, I should welcome back because I have been gone forever. Let's go ahead and get into this game. This is actually going to be a best of five series, a show match between myself and my good friend Infinite Infinity Crisis. He's recently changed his name. His old uh, alias was Yu Yu-Gi-Oh King, I, I think. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna like nicely chat a little bit and we're gonna go through this best of five and see who wins. Um, yeah, so we're both Protoss, so it's gonna be a PvP and I know what you're all thinking, that's a lot of four gates. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, so as we're getting into this game, I was really nervous because he recently promoted to Gold League and I did too, so we're both very excited. Uh, notice he's throwing up his, his gateway on 13 and um, I actually like to throw mine up on 14, so I was a little bit early there, but uh, I like to go for a little bit more of an eco opening. Um, I guess he just likes the more aggressive opening, which is fine, which is fine. That's totally cool. It's a legit play, way to play. And uh, yes, yeah, so I was very nervous because I hadn't spent a lot of time playing. I've actually been going through finals, so yeah, it's been kind of a hassle. I think I just logged in and my last login date was like the beginning of May, so for a StarCraft junkie, that's a long time. His scouting worker is going to go go ahead and uh, uh, scoot around to the back here. Um, yeah, and uh, mine's getting chased off by one of his probes, which is always good because you're delaying his mining time for not just one probe, but the other probe too. Because uh, as you can see, he has two less probes than me. If we go to the income tab, um, wow, he has so many more workers than me. I am really bad at this game. Yeah, really bad. But yeah, I'm chrono boosting out my, my warp gate. This is pre-patched by the way. So warp gate was a little bit quicker and the archons didn't have as much range. They didn't have that nice buff. Um, so he's going to go ahead and throw down the 3 gate. So I guess he's going to try to go for a 3 gate fast expand, which which is always a good option. Um, if we look at the warp gate timing, let's look up the production tab. The warp gate timing is pretty much, he's way ahead of me. My goodness, I am so bad at this game. I was really bad, let's just be honest. Oh, he's going for a 3 gate robo, which is a good way to expand safely. Have enough warp gate units to sustain a, an expansion on this map. And a nice way to tech up straight to Colossus. So, okay, now I'm understanding. It's been a while since I played this series. I think I went for the one gate, then Robo, then throw down the other two. It's a little bit of a different ordering, but what it lets you do is get out a faster Immortal and put on a little bit more of early pressure. And as you can see, I'm throwing down my forward pylon and I moved out with my Stalker. Uh, yeah, and I definitely want to deny his uh, vision of the map. So as you can see, um, yeah, I'm trying to take over vision of the map. He's going to go ahead. That's my immortal, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, and um, pretty much what I, my plan here was, was to deny his expansion, maybe try to press up his ramp. And as soon as he discovered that, I realized I'm in a lot of problems. I'm in a lot of the world of hurt right now. Let me actually slow it down. I've been going at times two speed, and I have not realized this. Wow, I'm totally lame at this. So, as you can see here, um, for now I'm denying his expansion, which is always good. That's always a, a, a good a benefit to it. Uh, he has way more workers than me though, and um, so his economy is not doing any worse than mine. I haven't thrown down my expansion, which is really bad. I should have. Um, his observer is going to get in here and see exactly what's happening, and I don't know what his response will be. I like to continue pumping immortals for a long time, and um, maintain control of the watchtowers. Just Make sure that there's no swing arounds, as if you follow my mouse, there's no swing arounds. Definitely don't want to leave an immortal stray running right here. That's not all that good, that was very unwise of me. And I actually don't have an observer to go to the unit counting station. So that's kind of a bad on my end too. So I don't know what his response was to seeing what's happening in my base. But I'm going to go ahead and throw down my expo and say, you know what, I think I have him pretty well contained. I can safely throw down my expo. Of course did not scout this. My goodness, everybody who plays against the Protoss, please scout that. And we're going to get into a little bit of a struggle here. Uh, my immortal count is higher than his, but with some clutch force fields, he's able to hold me back from doing any damage, really. Look at the units lost tab. He's lost a little bit more than me. Um, and at this stage in the game, those, those minerals lost are very critical. 
but we'll see what what happens and what comes into play. Meanwhile, in the per, in the income tab, we can see that um, I'm still way behind on on uh, workers. I suppose he's chrono boosting them. Actually, not really. I think he's chrono boosting a second immortal, which is always good when you find yourself uh, in in a little bit of a contain. Immortals are such clutch units; they can really help out. Now, this is something we could do before the patch where the pylon range was like infinity and um, we could warp in units up here if we had vision. So my plan, I suppose, was to run a unit up here the ramp and distract his army while it warped in units right here. I don't know if it'll work out. We'll see right now how good, how well that works out. Well, let's look at the production tab and I'm still just, you know, getting out my workers. But I'm not spending my money. My, my macro is slipping quite heavily. So let's keep an eye on the on the production tab here, and I definitely want to get up a forge just because um, just because you need those upgrades. Now, as I'm moving up here with these units to try to get vision, notice in the mini map I did not see this right away, and this was totally distracting. Oh my goodness, he's killing all these workers, and if we look at the units lost tab, I am falling way behind at the moment. So then I decide, you know what? Maybe I should just push up. I got some units to warp in, but I don't think those zealots are going to do much. What a throwaway of money. And I can't believe I tried to press that ramp. What a, what a suicidal mistake. Meanwhile, I'm losing my nexus. I'm, I've lost all the workers that I've had there. If you look at the, at the unit counting station, I only have 17 harvesters to 35. Um, luckily, I had a, a, nice, a nice mortgage uh, over here, a nice uh, savings fund because my macro is terrible. Luckily, his macro is pretty bad too because he's unable to expand, so his macro is going to slip terribly. And um, a couple more zealots, they're all going to stream into my base right now, and uh, we'll see how much damage they do. Probably an infinity amount of damage. Um, yeah, this is not good for me. Honestly, it's not. And my army is actually just chilling, and I accidentally uh, clicked on the minimap, and it's, this is a horrible. This is a horrible game for me. And, yeah, de definitely not not good, not optimal. Luckily, I was able to keep my two immortals alive, and that's always important because those bolster your army, and so do the sentries. They provide so much cover for your army. What I should have done here was thrown down a force field right here, and um, you know, pin them against the pylons so they couldn't attack any of my units. That would have let my units lost tab not rise to. Now I've lost almost double the amount of units that he has. Meanwhile. His force is looking pretty scary. And um, luckily, if we look at the vision, I can see that he's attacking that. And I had a, I had a quick glimpse of his army, so that's pretty important. He's, he's flying a little bit blind at the moment. And um, I, I wise up to it, and I know he had to have a pylon here, and I can't believe I didn't scout it. So I queue up an attack group, which is a classic noob mistake to do. But uh, yeah and trying to chrono boost out as many workers as I can. Let's look at the income tab. I'm trying to pump out workers as quickly as possible because I know that I'm so far behind. The only thing I can do is either force an all in and he's seeing all of this. He's seeing everything right now. He has to be in such good shape. So, so, uh, feeling so good that he's able to safely secure this knowing there's nothing I can do. My army is nowhere near strong enough to confront him and I don't have the production capability to keep up with his production. As we can see, he's he, he's uh, warping in a ton of new... Hold on, I, I heard some stuff. He's warping in... He's warping in a ton of new... Sorry about that. Um, there was recently a break-in in my neighborhood and uh, I'm hearing noises downstairs. Let's hope it's not a burglar. Um, He's warping in a ton of new units and I can't really keep up at the moment so I decide let's hang back let's um of course my vision is just terrible at the moment if we look I have no vision and no scouting because I don't have an observer and if we look at him um he's constantly checking the watchtower to see if there's anything coming you see he's playing this game right he's playing this game patiently he's not pressing his advantage he wants to cement his economic advantage he's transferring workers this this just finished a little while ago, so a little bit late on the on the delayed on the worker transfer. But other than that, he's he's got a good healthy uh, worker advantage. We see here 43 to 25. I am so far behind, uh, and I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to um, chrono boost out 
uh, units and, and workers. Now, getting these many photon cannons is probably not a good idea, especially at the front. Something I've learned is that my army is way far away from my base. I should just leave one stalker on the watchtower and move my army back to my front right here, and then I don't need those photon cannons. I just need to get out an observer um, and maybe put one back here just in case. But the reality is if your army can sit right here, you don't really need that many photon cannons at your natural. Now what I decided to do is I decided to try to take a super duper delay surge, but I know it's way earlier than his. Um, just because uh, my stalker uh, is on the watchtower and um, I know that he had a lot, he, it's been a while since um, I've attacked him, but his nexus wasn't up until I left. So I know that he's not, he's not ready to take a third, he probably barely has saturation here as we can see, his saturation is pretty good, he needs to put people on gas if you're making gas geysers. Of course I make that mistake too as you can see, I'm to totally horrible at this, uh, I'm really bad at this. But um, I think that's when I start to notice. Uh, Upgrades, I have the armor upgrade because I know that he's going to have a colossal army advantage. If we look at the army size tab, he's even got a colossus coming out. His army size is 142 to my 75. My goodness, am I far behind. I, I honestly should have left the game 10 minutes ago. I don't know I don't know what I can do to get back into this game at the moment. So what I decided to do is I decided to say, you know what, he's got a lot of immortals, he's probably going straight for Colossus. Let me go ahead and try to get up to Stargate and maybe get some Void Ray, a nice Void Ray count, and pick off those Colossus, pick off those immortals, and um, that way try to claw my way back into the game. But we'll see how much of a role this actually plays out in the game. Of course, he has the Observer somewhere around here. Let me see. Oh, I guess he withdrew his observer. Okay. Yeah, so if we look at the vision tab, um, I can see half the map at the moment. I have control of one watchtower, but I haven't really scouted him in quite a while. Let's look at my vision. I, you know, this is the last thing I saw. And, um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of units here. I don't think that I can take this on, to be honest. Uh, my army is looking pretty measly. It's a lot of sentries. Which is good to have because it provides those clutch force fields. But once the Colossus are out, they can easily trample the force field. Um, one thing is that I am uh, chrono boosting out my my upgrades, and he hasn't begun upgrades. I don't think he has a forge. He does have a forge. He's chrono boosting out plus one armor as well. Kind of an interesting choice, um, considering he's so far in the lead. Uh, you would really, it would be better to get the either the the attack upgrade when you're in the lead just because you want to deal that damage a lot faster. If you're playing defensively definitely go for the fast armor upgrade or the fast shield upgrade against Protoss because feedback it doesn't really come into play all that much and there's no such thing as a ghost EMP in a PvP. So my worker count is finally looking okay at the moment. I'm barely beginning to resaturate everything. He's doing the important thing which is to scout scout for the third he sees hey these rocks are gone he's gonna see that right now but he's also gonna see but there's no third doesn't look like there's a third on the way and here's the money shot he's gonna come in here and he's gonna immediately see the void rays his probe was able to walk right up to my army and see the void rays so he knows that there's void ray coming he can't let that count go up he's gonna push out and he says you know what I think I have a huge enough army uh, so that one void ray or two is not going to make that much of a difference and my army is so sentry heavy sentries only deal seven damage seven damage compared to stalkers who deal that eleven damage so luckily I catch half his army here off, off guard a little bit so I'm able to take out some of these guys but as the rest of his army catches up I don't think there's anything I can do at the moment and we'll see my immortals aren't attacking they're just waddling around in the back like little crabs and he's got the thermal lance upgrade on the colossus there's no way that my army can reach in there i even throw down force fields that hurt me in the end but he quickly steps over them and presses in for the kill of course he, his army position it could have been a little bit better maybe allowing the zealots to 
perforate into the front line and bring back the Colossus up onto the high ground. My Void Ray is dealing some damage, but as you can see, there is not much I can do. There is not much I can do at all. I decide, let's try to retreat one more time and save my skin. But in reality, just bad macro, bad decision making, and uh, all around bad pressing, bad timing. It's going to cost me the game right here. And notice, I'm not even paying attention. I have Stalkers back here that aren't attacking. And my Void Ray is being taken out by a bunch of Sentry. So that's going to be... I think that's going to be GG for this game. And that's going to be a quick GG. I make the brown face, but he's my friend like I said, and uh, we're going to go on to game number two.